What it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, back again with another historical lesson. This time, we're going all the way to the controversial and interesting state of Florida. Did you know that Florida had its own Black Wall Street, Black Freedom Town, Black legislation offices, Black bills, and Black iconic railways? The reason why Florida is such a controversial place and it's always in the legislation bill, you must understand that Florida was actually a freed home for enslavement because it was conquered by the Spaniards. Most people do not realize that there was a freedom, um, freedom Underground Railroad to the North and the South. So what we're going to focus on today is the great and iconic story and tragedy of Rosewood, Florida. Rosewood, Florida was a town that was uplifted from emancipation where the town was growing and thriving post the Civil War. Like many Civil War towns, you got to understand freedom towns in this America, almost 350 of them, spurred up with black families and soldiers going to these towns completely self-sufficient themselves. Remember, they were the skilled labor, working class, and business class of this country, so they knew how to operate, own, and work for themselves. The Rosewood family had a hierarchy. There were hierarchy in families, strategies, and discipline. Most of these families owned land, families, and iconic places. What made Rosewood such a rich and natural resource hub was the tree and lumber that were in that area. You must understand at this time, they were the, the economical powerhouse in that area. The Rosewood was dominated by Black Americans, and the other outskirts was held by the White Americans. There was a civil union to understand this line was here and they must work in harmony. The blacks had their side of the town, which was completely segregated and thriving. But as you noticed, if you look at history from a historical perspective, there is always one common theme. There is either an assault or an allegation made by a white woman against a black man, or there is a civil discomfort threat where white people feel like they are being inadequately compensated or prepared. In Florida, what we saw was a white woman who lied and made up a false allegation against a black citizen in the city of Rosewood. When an accusation of rape was said, assault to assault was made against this man, it actually happened to her husband's friend. She did not want to admit that her husband's friend raped her due to the taboo subject at the time. Sorry for using that harsh word. But the sexual assault allowed multiple things to happen at this angle. So the white mob began to infiltrate with anger because remember, when sexual assault was mentioned once white woman, it is a very taboo and very hot topic. From a historical lens, you must understand that is what 90% of the battles came from. The big black man attacking the innocent white woman. We understood that the crime happened that they completely isolated the families in Rosewood. A white mob and white rule began to go to this town. They began to burn houses, buildings, and all the infrastructure. They shot people at random. The men tried to uphold their home, but were completely overpowered due to the whites in the area combining together and uploading their resources to kill them. The sad and tragic part about all these things is that even though Rosewood was completely wiped out, it is still not been cultivated. It is an empty plot of land to this day. There is no county of Rosewood in Florida. The families never got their rights or their just due. However, the family's legacy still resides in the great state of Florida. They have been fighting and championing and screaming the drum as they should about their families losing out on generational wealth. Think about if those families could have kept going, building upon each other, and stabilizing their class and economic unit. The one thing I love everybody to remember, think about you come home right now and you see a shooting in your home. That is virtually what happened to the black Americans of Rosewood. They fought through the legislation and earned a small, minute portion of reparations. Did you know that Florida approved reparations for college tuition for black Rosewood residents in 1994? Most people have no idea that the state of Florida has already issued a non-cash payment of reparations. They issued it as a form of college tuition to the Rosewood citizens. Now, even me and you must agree, that is a very low bar. To have your family castrated, shot at, burned to the ground, and all you receive 
is tuition, not the whole college experience for free. Now, we do realize that Florida, not taking a shot at it, has its own difficulties with history. But if you look at time in totality, you see Rosewood happen all across this United States. There is a black thriving community. There is an accusation of crime being mentioned. White rage is going to them. They shoot, they kill, they murder them, and no charges are ever filed. The families must relocate without compensation, love, or remorse. This is an extremely traumatic event. And the worst of the worst part, the great situation of Rosewood, Florida, is still not cultivated, the land is still not used, and the descendants of that tragedy are horrific. If you want to see more details of this lesson, John Singletary did a film on Rosewood that came out in the early 90s. Great film, highlighting in real time how this situation happened. Rosewood is not an isolated incident. It is a major incident that we've seen happen across this racial riots all around this country. If we don't talk about the history, we will recreate them. If we don't discuss things that happen, how will we ever prevent them? These type of subjects, even though they're tragic, we should discuss, analyze, listen, and educate ourselves on them. Because if we don't, we will repeat the lessons that happened to us in the past. Florida, the first state to give black Americans the representation of a tall task. It's your boy, King Crowder. Checking back out again, y'all. I hope you learned something. Today, we dive in into Rosewood, Florida. Black Wall Street and the tragedy that happened. We must understand that the state of Florida has always had political battles and issues with Black Americans and how they view history. There is so much rich history about the state of Florida that we will continue to take a dive into. But right now, please smash the subscribe button, like button, comment, give me any information you may have, and we are here to get back with you. It's your boy, King Crowder. Check him back out. Until next time, peace. Thank you.